Okay, that's good to know. What's that girl's name? Um, you just said her name, but she's the one that has like she doesn't know whether or not Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, the mm -hmm. guy that she's dating, is like really into her or not? Well, they're married. They're married. Yes, they're a married couple. Jennifer and Eric Williams are married, and you know their situation is they don't know whether they want to stay married or you know get divorced, and so that's really what they're going through at this point in their lives. I see. She does seem like a sweet girl, but I don't know. Do you think that you have to watch her, being that she's good friends with Evelyn? And I don't know. My impression of Evelyn on the show, like with the clips that they showed, mm -hmm. I don't know if you could like really trust her a hundred percent. Well, here's the here's the truth of the matter. You know, I'm not a person who uses words lightly. You know, I don't say I love you unless I love you. You know, I don't call you my friend unless you're really my friend. And so we're at a point where there's a potential to be a friendship. You know, but I. We're just we're colleagues, we're associates, we're cool, you know. So it's not a it's not a factor of whether I need to trust her or not because I haven't exactly allowed her fully into my space. Okay, good to know. Do you believe that you don't truly know anybody unless you have an argument with them or some sort of disagreement? <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. You don't think so? I, I, <laughs> but I, I can tell you, you definitely see a different side of a person. You know, if you if you if you have an altercation or argument or difference with them, you'll definitely see a different side of them. Hey, I think it's better than like being boring. I like let's argue, let's curse each other out. <laughs> oh, I see you like I see you like drama. <laughs> a little bit of drama, a little bit of drama. You know, it keeps it keeps your blood flowing. I guess. You know, like I, 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 try, <laughs> I to, try to live drama free. <laughs> Doesn't always happen, but I do try. Drama free by um co host putting her thumbs up, like, yeah, that's the way to go. <laughs> okay, y'all. Why is she so quiet? Why is she not saying that? Because <laughs> you don't got my mic up. <laughs> <laughs> Turn her mic up. Am I on the air? What's going on? <laughs> I was not on there. He wants to be on the air, so I was like, "Let me just have his, mo let him have his moment." <laughs> uh, join me, join me. You want to ask her anything? No, I just, I just been listening to what you're saying, and I was definitely, definitely comparing to the no drama and like, but at the same time, I think it, it goes to say that you see a different side of a person when you have an argument with them. I know for sure because I just, I, I just made up with my former sweet mate. Um, she left back for Texas, uh -huh. but when we were there, we got into a fight, and she tried to tell me not to do something, and I went back, and I started screaming at her. I was like, you're not my mother. Right, like, right, who, right. Who are right, you? Right. And she calls me the abusive boyfriend of the relationship. Wow. <laughs> That's what she says to me. <laughs> and I just thought it was really funny, because I looked at the situation, and it's like, it's not like we ever laid a hand on each other. Right. But verbally i was always the more abusive one wow and like, we didn't that's actually funny. we didn't actually know how well we knew each other until after we fought with each other you know it was another side and then we knew not to do certain things you exactly know? exactly it comes to a certain point by the end but li literally yesterday we finally we haven't spoken this whole time and we made up and well that it was good. a beautiful moment so <laughs> i was happy yeah as long as you guys could see like some sort of like Exa agreement with the two yeah. disagreements yeah, because everybody's not going to agree. You know, at least if you can get to a point where you agree to disagree, <laughs> yep. you know, and, and can move past it, that's that's showing growth, you know, yes. and that's that's ultimately what ends up happening with basketball wives. You know, we're not always going to agree, but as long as you can discuss your differences and move past them, you know, that's the that's element of growth. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Now, you showcase a very strong personality on the show. Like, we like it. Thank you. Yeah, we don't think it should go anywhere, but... Do you think everybody else has to have a strong personality and be confident with themselves in order to accept everything that you have to bring to the table? I, I can definitely intimidate the meek of heart <laughs> mm -hmm. because I speak my mind, you know, and I'm just going to, you know, just put my put whatever it is out there. I'm going to put it out there. And I think that if you can't handle that, that's something that is going on with inside of you. You know, and you, you may have to work on some things because for me as a person, I want you to be truthful with me. I want you to tell me what I need to know. I don't want you to sugarcoat anything because when you get out into the real world, nobody's sugarcoating stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, they tell it you know, nice keep it and real with up. me, and that's how I try to do with everyone else. Yeah, you definitely got that New York vibe to you. 
Oh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a, a compliment no, or not, but <laughs> I'm from New York too. I can't. I, I think I exist. Wait, you're from ways. New York? Yes, I am. From where? Born and raised. Born in Mount Vernon, raised in White Plains. Cool beans. Hey, nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta be proud of where you came from. I actually from. just had a conversation. I think it was <laughs> with um one of the other girls who co-hosts with um DJ Hypnotic, uh, cool. Melly. Melly. I was having a conversation with her about um. The New York attitude, I guess you could say, like okay. this typical attitude that New Yorkers have. Like, there's two sides to what people um, say to us. They say we're loud, we're rude, we're obnoxious, and you know we're really, really aggressive. And yes, short. They do say that. <laughs> short. But, short tempered. But, but there's yeah, we also are the alter ego to exactly. that side, exactly. which is honesty and integrity. Yes. We're very, you know? very loyal <laughs> that way, you know. And I was discussing this with her. She's like, I don't know why people only see the bad things about New Yorkers because when you look at the heart of who these people are they're very connected they all feel for each other when something happens it yes. happens not just to one new yorker it happens to many new Yorkers. yes yes you know yes. we're very very as as much as we're different and we're all from other places we always come back to each other exactly you know exactly that's true in that situation and with just people's relationship friendships um, as well, because whenever you get mad at somebody, people are always quick to look at all the bad things that they did to you. Or you can't there's a that. lot of you good things. There's also, so many good things. True. That's that's the truth. That's real talk. I I, I forgot. I was talking to my friend Jay the other day, and he was like, because I still have like pictures of my exes and me up on Facebook, and he was like, why don't you take them down? And I was like, because honestly, if the person that I'm with can't accept the fact that those are great memories for me, and I don't want to ever forget them, those pictures hold great great times for me. They can't accept that and accept that they're just the memory well now that's i'm not going to agree with you on that well, that's one. just my that's my <laughs> opinion on it uh you know i would have to i would have to say you know if you you're with somebody now and now oh, i'm not with anyone good, so that's why it works you can have your <laughs> memories but you know keep your memories with you you know mm. you shouldn't subject your new person to that to that because you know you're trying to build a new memory a new <laughs> legacy with them so. yeah well when i find a new person i'll hit that milestone <laughs> okay so yeah. see there it is there so, it so is. For, right, for right now i can i can keep them <laughs> obviously My disagreements memory. make the show go around <laughs> yeah we love it but what was i gonna actually i wanted to talk about this food stamp card situation yes if I, um you don't know what a food stamp card is right no See, this is a real situation if somebody doesn't know what a food stamp card is. But I want to talk about the situation on Basketball Wives. Okay. What's that girl's name again? Jennifer. I'm bad with names unless, like... <laughs> 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 All right, Jennifer. Like, when you went to the bathroom, they had some words about you. It wasn't necessarily negative words. But when you came back to the table and you act so... You act, like, in a jokingly way, what were you guys saying about me? Right. And they... Well, Jennifer brought up the food stamp card. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that situation? Did that make sense to you? Like, Well, th this is the thing about that. Okay, just like your co-host says, she never seen a food stamp card. I, th the thing <laughs> is not the fact that she's never seen one. I don't give a damn if you've never seen a food stamp card. My point was... Don't wait for me to get up from the table and then have this detailed conversation about me, my business, my life, and my situation when I'm right there. If there's something you want to know, ask me because other than that, it comes off looking shady. And that's what my whole, you know, feelings about that whole situation was. I'm sitting right here just like I asked you about your husband. What you going to do? I don't need to ask Evelyn. I don't need to wait for you to leave from the table. I'm going to ask you. Yeah, I think everything goes back to Evelyn. She's a troublemaker on the show. <laughs> but, like, but really, like, she, like, the girl, I think your friend, Shawnee X, Evelyn. Like, I'm not, like, trying to be starting drama or, like, gossip or anything. Right. I'm just calling it how I saw it. She asked Evelyn. She told Evelyn, it looks like you have something to get out your chest. Right, your right, chest. right. And Evelyn said what she had to say, and then everybody else joined in. Well, you know, Evelyn has a strong personality. So, if you want to call her the ringleader, you know... She could definitely take that title because she's the, she's the most outspoken of everybody. So that's probably why Shawnee went to her to, to hear her thoughts because she knew that Evelyn wouldn't have a problem saying what she felt. See, if she wasn't like that, her pictures wouldn't have leaked on Twitter like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh -oh. Evelyn, she should call up the show and um, voice her opinion because people want to know, the fans want to know, you know what I mean? And it is what it is. And you beat her butt, like, in one of the clips. Like, you really, like, I have to, like, I'm sorry, but 
you're entertaining on the show. Thank you. I like the Thank clips you. that they had of you. Like, can you talk about a little bit of the drama with everybody? It seems like I'm trying to find the right, right words. Think about it. It just seems like you went in on a lot of people. Well, that's what I said earlier is that, you know, if, if you can't respect me, then we're going to have problems. You know, if you appear shady to me, we're going to have problems. Because when I look at you, I would like to see a, a, a reflection of myself, somebody who's honest, somebody who's, you know, going to say how they feel, not hold their feelings in, somebody that's going to keep it real because that's what I'm going to be giving you 110% of the time. So if you feel I'm going in on everybody to use your words it's because it was necessary because I don't think people need to hide or sugarcoat things just say what's on your mind and let's hash it out definitely true yeah I appreciate that and I appreciate you keeping You're it real very very down to earth she is thank you I have to say that I, I've never seen the show or anything, but you sound like a really down-to-earth, classy lady. Thank I like you. That. You have to watch it on Sunday at 8 o'clock on VH1. Definitely. <laughs> well, I'm going to be home because I actually don't watch TV while I'm at school. Okay. But I'm, I'm going to be home for the break, so I'm actually going to tune in. And cool, cool. I'll watch you and we'll see what goes on. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. VH1's Basketball Wives airs every Sunday night. You said 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock. That's right. That's what's up. Why is she like shaking her because body I, around? Because I started to the song? shaking in my chair. Oh, there's like a whole bunch of randomness going on up here. <laughs> <laughs> when are you gonna come to New York and hang out at the studio with us? Let it, you have to come like for the finale. For the finale. Let me get my words out right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can do that. I can drop in and sit and chit chat with y'all. <laughs> you know, the finale will be a good time because it's gonna be some interesting revelations that people definitely will not have seen coming. Ooh. Now let me ask you this Did the season finish filming already And now you're just like sitting yes, back Yes the season finished um, the third week of October And so now things are airing You know so I just want to address that too Because you know we all have Twitter accounts And Facebook you know And we'll chit chat via that method And people are saying oh the show is fake Because they you know they talk to each other But people have to understand We tape that at least you know we yeah. finished wrapping that at least three months ago and so you know we had a chance to live that moment and move past it where you guys are just seeing it now you know it's called post-production people right <laughs> you know what like what's wrong with people out there i don't you know what you just can't focus on that you just gotta <laughs> people trying thing. to start drama for no yeah reason. yeah no the show definitely you real fighting. it's not scripted you know what you see is, is what you what get it is. I'm not going to lie, I, I don't mind seeing you fight as long as you don't get hurt. <laughs> we don't encourage the violence here on the show, but definitely... Yeah, we're a Catholic school. we got to keep it Catholic. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, everybody tune in to Basketball Wives, and we have the one and only Tammy Roman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the way from the real world now to VH1, now to the show. Yes, yes, loving it. That's what's up. So, yeah, any last words that you want to give to all your fans, listeners, supporters out there? You know, just, you know, be yourself at all times. No matter, you know, if good, bad, or indifferent, whether somebody likes you or they don't, stay true to yourself. Because that is the one thing that's going to take you the farthest. Never lose sight of yourself. Follow me on Twitter, at Tammy Roman. And um, Facebook, fan book page, fan page, you know, Tammy Roman. Just check me out. I mean, you know, you'll find out some interesting things about me. That's what's up. Good to know, everybody. Go add her on Twitter, add her on Facebook. Oh, I think your voice would make me nervous. Don't be nervous. Call up to the show. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Charlotte Stevens. Charlotte Stevens, what's up, Mama? Why are you not calling in? <laughs> <laughs> See, I make I make things possible on the show. So, yeah, everybody, follow me too at DJ underscore Hypnotic. And yeah, Tammy, I appreciate you calling up the show again. I loved it. It was fun. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Just stay in the line for me for two seconds, okay? All right. Thanks. All right, everybody. That was Tammy Roman from VH1's Basketball Wives. So. You feeling good, Mary Tall? I'm feeling good. That was definitely a good conversation. I like it. It's got me feeling yeah, she's, some type she's of cool. She's Yeah, cool. she's cool. I'm feeling the coolness from her. You know, like, <laughs> it's seeping into me, and I'm feeling really, really relaxed. She sees things for what they are, and you want to 
I'm a, I'm gonna look the world that way right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Everybody keep it real. I'm gonna keep the music going. All right, what should I play? I always have this problem. I'm just gonna throw on something and we'll be back. All right, and it's on uh, W S J U the voice. This is a message for. This is a message for everybody. Forget you. 